like hardcore drugs. King size bed, so we'll be nice and comfortable. We've landed! Hi y'all, new day. So, I'm hopeful about my tooth extraction healing nicely. Today's Thursday, I'm leaving to Nigeria Saturday morning. And I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I already have like a bunch of places to eat lined up. I'm such a foodie now. Like I've been just so greedy, <laughs> greedy lately. Like I just want to eat every single thing in sight. I've never had this feeling before of like being feeling like, oh my God, I feel like I'm addicted to food now. I feel that way. Like I just watch food videos. It's crazy crazy um comment down below like do you go through stages in your life where you're just hungry <laughs> all the time like you want to eat yeah that's just me right now so i'm like i'm looking at the menus i'm looking at what i'm gonna get i'm not even there yet i'm looking at the pictures the reels like i'm so hungry <laughs> it's crazy but i'm also so tired i'm hungry and tired i feel like i need like one amazing sleep like just one like if i get one amazing sleep it'll just set my whole life on a different trajectory from one one good sleep i need something to help me sleep and i know there is magnesium which is calming and also melatonin those are natural things you can take but i need something more powerful you know what i mean i need something that will just knock me right out i just want to sleep one time I don't really want to like stay on it. I wanted to sleep once and then never take it ever again. And I am considering taking like this, this sleeping pill that I took one time. <laughs> it's called diazepam. And I took it like, I don't want to say years ago, but like two years ago when I wasn't able to sleep properly. I took it and it just is amazing. It works so fast and just knocks you right out. And it just gives me that one good sleep I need to just reset my entire life. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can take it while breastfeeding. That's the only thing, but I will take it. I will take it, y'all. Okay, fine. Let me get some melatonin first and try that out and see if that helps me before I go on to like hardcore drugs. <laughs> My friend is here from Toronto and um, she invited us and some other, me and some other mommies who just had babies to like a pool date thing around four. So I'm actually going to get Jordan from school and then go to the pool party, baby pool party with the kids. You know, it'd be nice for them to just have a little pool party outing. So I'm gonna do that. So I just, I'm gonna lie here until the time comes. But it's so annoying because I have to comb my hair. I have to take a shower. I have to get bop bop ready. So, it's unrealistic to say I'm just gonna lie down until I go. I have to do so much preparations, but I'm gonna lie down for a little bit anyway. So let me see you guys when I like get up again. Also, here's Bob Bob. Hi, Baba. Oh, you're gonna be so cute like that. Oh, you're gonna be so cute. So bad news, Bob Bob is moving. You know when you can just put them in the bed and know that when you come back, they're going to be in the same... Oh my goodness, what happened? What happened? Oh my dear. What happened, Papa? What happened all of a sudden? I know, but we were just good a minute ago. So why did you get mad? I know, but I was just telling them that if I put you on your belly and walk away... You're going to be like halfway down the... Oh, dear. Okay, Pop Pop was having a little bit of a meltdown. I was saying that once you put him on his belly, he's moving like he's scooching forward. And it's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Gone are the days you can just put him in the bed and like use the washroom and come back. I mean, obviously I have his bassinet, so I won't leave him in the bed. But he's moving now. He's going up. <laughs> so we are out on the road. Oh no, don't take this way. <laughs> what? Oh no, you should have went this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we're on our way to um, this pool party. <laughs> it is very hot, so it's the perfect weather for um, being outside and being wet, I guess. I'm picking Jordan up from school. I normally don't pick him up because he gets a ride home from school. So I'm gonna pick him up. Ow. I'm gonna pick him up and then we're gonna go to the pool hang out have some mommy time so it's basically a bunch of girls um i think they're mainly from toronto who've had babies here in ghana so yeah is brendan gonna be there who bailey oh bailey oh she doesn't have any kids i don't know why she yeah she doesn't have any kids <laughs> but uh yeah so we're just gonna have like a play date basically yeah so um before we get there, I'm just getting myself a yogurt because it's soft and easy to chew with my tooth, you know. I'm not trying to do any vigorous eating. I mean, I am, but not yet. Not until I get to Nigeria. <laughs> so we're so late. We are off to a really good start when we left the house. So, so we were, normally... She decided to... I didn't decide to. She decided to, to leave at 3.30 when it turned no, to 4. No, no, no. And she, and she that, knew that we had four we stops We left at 3.15. So it's her phone. Irks. We left at 3.15. So we would have got to our destination at about 4.15. But um, Michael and Jordan come home after school together. So um, the driver that normally picks him up wasn't available. So I had to actually drive him like backwards to drop him off and then continue where I was going. So now I'm like an hour after. I'm sad because now it's like dark outside. And it's supposed to be a pool party not pool party but you know we're supposed to be swimming so now it might be too cool you know what i mean we're gonna have to redo this tomorrow maybe hey everyone so i don't even know we got there late so we said let's just have lunch <laughs> so we are back at bondi so this is the children's little treat dinner because remember i told you i haven't eaten hey <laughs> we haven't eaten out <laughs> no let me show you who's doing this see it's it's a new bop bop zayden say hi emily she's she's on her mommy thing you know god buddy we gotta chill i'm looking forward to bop bop being older but it comes with its new set of challenges right very much so because as you because see, everything <laughs> must everything must be looking at us, but it's okay no one's here so um yeah so we're just gonna have lunch and the kids are gonna have their little lunch since i'm going to nigeria i want tempura but i want um pasta too Oh my god. Is that the there. kids is that the kids menu? The kids menu. Ooh, what do I look like the kids menu? Ooh, you do look like a kid. Um, you look like, like, like a kid. Do you know that's a fork that you hit me in the face with, buddy? You look like a kid. That's what you look like. That's a fork. No, I didn't want to see. Let's see. Yeah. Catch you on. I don't even know if have to Um But can we get the calamari starter to share and then um we could share a starter and then I'll get the the pasta. I don't eat calamari. Yes, yes you do. So you're here for the can wings? Eat, eat calamari. I love calamari. Can Everything I've ever had before started. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Not nice, okay, Baba? I swear Not nice. How do you do this? How do I manage? How? How do you manage? The way I, I manage. manage. Does that sound rude? I have a nanny. <laughs> that does not sound rude. That really. sounds very like. It sounds like real life. Where are the oh. chips with my fish? Oh, oh okay, okay. Oh. This is for her. But he can have some though. Let me um, okay. pass me the pie. Come in. Come in. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> What's happening here? Do you, do you think you can manage all these wings? All five? <laughs> I'll have one. Don't worry. Baby. We're done. We had a good food baby. Yeah, food baby. Food baby. Everybody food baby. 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 
Where's your food, baby? Yeah, that's a food, baby. Yeah, girl. So, what else? So, how did I enjoy Bandai? Bandai was a vibe. It was delicious. I loved it. I, was a, I can never feel disappointed from the Bandai. I, I know, me neither. I, I was here one week ago, actually. So, I can come here again and again and again. Oh, it is that Again and again and again. I need to like curl up. Look at Jordan. Holy sleeping on the chair. Oh, well, Baba, wake up your brother. So anyway, Amoy and I are gonna go. We're going back to the UK. I'm going back to the UK. Aww, but it was but, nice to see you. Yeah, it was so nice to see you. I missed you. And so I'm nice. happy to see you, Baba. So nice talking to another Canadian, you know? Oh. Like you totally get me. <laughs> we get each other. We get each other. And now it's back to being being by myself. I'm kidding, not by myself, guys. But anyway, we're gonna um, wrap it up and I'll see you guys when I get home. Love you. So we're at the airport. It is like 6.15. Our flight leaves at 7.45. So we're gonna check in i mean we already checked in what i want to say i feel discombobulated i'm on negative sleep so um i'm nervous and excited at the same time bop bop is having the sleep of his life can we trade places bop bop i want to be you i want to be you so um he has he has a lot of clothes that he didn't get to wear because he grew so quickly. And this Adidas tracksuit, I think like after he wears it this time, I don't know if he'll be able to fit into it again. <laughs> yeah, so um, he's got all his outfits that he can wear one time packed for this trip. I'm already thinking about eating. Yeah, there's this cafe that I want to go to as soon as we get there. But I don't know if I'll be super duper tired and if I want to go home and nap first. But I kind of want to eat. I want to get there first. I don't know. So um, I'll see how I feel when we land. About to take them off. We're here. Hi, Papa. You got to be on your first flight. Wow. I feel like babies are flying more than ever before. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like back in the day, parents maybe waited to travel. What do you think? Yeah, so it's almost time to go. Okay, so Bop Bop, you see that? Yes, you wait and by my side. We'll be saying actually. This is how you fasten the seatbelt. This is new to me. So, now one of our MPs and Niger finest female pilots. Hi, Baba. It's time when you begin to grow up. Hi, Baba. We love it! That was like a 10 minute flight. Exciting, exciting! <laughs> oh, wow. Breathe in that Nigerian air. <laughs> Baba. It's your homeland. Baba. It's your homeland. Come look over here, baby. Okay. He is um, fascinated with the window. Da da. We out. We out. Aw, someone was asking me for donations. I'm so soft hearted. I'm like, I don't have anything. I didn't even bring any CDs. I just have like Momo. And then I use this app. It's called Lem Finance. I'm sorry, Lemonade Finance. So basically you can make like, not email transfers, but you can make transfers from your phone, like the app, to pay stuff. I think
We're here. We're here. This is our hotel room. So we have a friend, not we, but my significant other has a friend and he owns this hotel. So he gave us like a super discount on the room, like super. You know, I couldn't refuse a discount. And um, it's perfect. King size bed. So we'll be nice and comfortable. There's already stuff all over the place. You know how it is. Hotel rooms, they get dirty fast. Well, not dirty, but you know, we got stuff. We got stuff. Look at Papa watching. Oh, he's watching Nija TV. Oh, you see your people? You see your, your entertainment? Your Nigerian movies? Right, Baba? How are you? Anyways, anyways, so I'm starving. We didn't eat when we left and we just had like some little snacks on the plane. So we are headed to a restaurant like right away. I'm just going to quickly like rinse off, shower super fast and um, get ready and head out. Okay, I'm ready. Oh my god, I haven't dressed up in so long, like to go anywhere. Can you see my outfit, guys? I have my new camera, but I just can't be bothered to charge it and set it up. So I'll be using this one and I cannot tell what I'm doing. Can you tell? All right, so we're on our way out. Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> right? Right, Papa? Look at Papa's outfit. Okay, we'll see you guys when we get to the actual restaurant. So we're on our way. We just stopped to get some cash. So remember the snacks I showed you guys on the plane? Or maybe I didn't show you, but these are the snacks. I wasn't gonna eat them because, you know. But then I was like, you know what? Let me bring everything and like maybe give it away to someone on the street. And I wasn't gonna pack them. Like, I just thought that I should bring them after and it's a good thing I did because I am so hungry right now and it's like you forget how much calories and energy breastfeeding takes out of you so on top of waking up extra early and running around packing this that that I didn't eat this morning right so now it's about 12 o'clock and I'm like I'm hungry I'm hungry so it's a good thing my mind told me. Let me take these take these snacks. I wonder if it's Milo. I wonder if it's Milo. Milo. I guess Jamaicans call it Milo. It's nice. Brings back memories. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. I feel alive again. Like those um, pancakes were so fluffy. For the palms, which one is it? I am literally full. I want to take a nap so badly. Those pancakes were delicious. They were fluffy. I really appreciated the blueberry compote and the blueberry um, stuffed pancakes. It was yummy. 
so now um, we're headed to an MTN office. So MTN is like AT&T or Rogers or whatever. It's a internet um, telephone cell phone company provider. So we're gonna get this thing called a MiFi. So a MiFi is like a portable Wi-Fi device and then you can just link your phone to it without actually getting a chip. So that is what we are going to do right now. Yeah. And then home to nap. I had a lash appointment for four o'clock and I was just under the impression we would have been out sooner. But when we got to the airport, the um the when we got to the airport our luggage took forever to actually get off the aircraft yeah so that was like a huge hold up and then we collected um our car we shipped our car from toronto here so we collected it so someone brought it to us and then um we drove home so we didn't get home till like 12 30 to the hotel so um because of that our whole day was kind of you know pushed back and then we just finished eating now at like three so um yeah anyway i had my appointment for 4 p.m but obviously we just finished eating so i just rescheduled it to um another day monday hopefully yeah Anyways, so let me call you guys later on. Okay, love you, bye. So I have a little burst of energy. We are at the mall. I'm sure it's just like Ghana though, I think. Okay, but let's see. We're actually really here to go to the MTN to get the um, thing. But since we're here, we're gonna go in the mall and just take a little look around. So we're in the mall. Looks like a mall. Oh, back home inside. I am too tired. So I'm gonna actually end the vlog here and pick it up for, for dinner tonight. So I am going to go take a nice nap and prep for dinner. So this is the end of today's vlog, okay? So I'll see you in the next vlog, which is a continuation of today. You get it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm watching this Nigel film. It's a bit crazy, but um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to fall asleep with all this excitement though, LOL. Hmm. Anyways, have a good night you guys and see you tomorrow.